to law. Yo, 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 man, check it, man. Hey, man, listen, man. I'm down there with Seafood Bill, man, down here at Atlanta, GA. But what part of the city we in here? Oh, this is this is Stockbridge. Stockbridge. We over here at Stockbridge, man. Listen, I asked my old lady when I was coming up here, I said, Miss Jamaica, where we at, man? She said, look at the bottom. It says Stockbridge, so you show sure right. Yeah. So I was yeah. like, this. so what, 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 what made you come over here and base your location over here? Because uh, they steady building. They got they just built an amphitheater right there. A lot of celebrities live down the street, around the block is Eagles Landing. Um, McDonald, Fuller, Shaq live down there. So it's so a lot it's of perfect, money. perfect location. Yeah, perfect location. Perfect location. So yeah. when you think about just the whole litany of of what it come when it comes to cooking, mm -hmm. I, I just want to go back a little bit. Like, how did you end up getting into cooking? Actually, I was uh, I was in the music and what I was doing. I had artists and everything, but I was. I was on the road all the time, so we would come go to Outcast Studio, we would record, we go to Pack Password. And uh, after studio time was up, uh, going on, like everybody be hungry. Wasn't no food. You had people just flying in the Outcast, just they they come from the airport to the uh, to the studio and that's it. Yeah. They don't have no food. So I started cooking and just and it just took off, man. It just took off. I was wow. making more money cooking than I was with the artists. And that's the way God to show up and show out. Because yeah. you be thinking you got a plan, but he got a plan that's bigger than your plan yeah. that just fits you right into where you need to be. Most definitely. Yeah, Most so definitely. let me ask you this, man. Like, like you you, you got this restaurant. Mm -hmm. Are you planning to open any more of these things? Yeah, Tampa, my next lick. I was, Tampa. I was just there last week for my birthday. Man, that's going to – man, can yeah. I come do the grand open? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. want to come down there and – you know what yeah. I'm saying? Set up the cameras, man. Ebor City South Street. It's lit. It's lit. Yeah. And and, and so that, that pretty much runs into like you originally you Boy, Cedar Grove. Cedar Grove. Cedar Grove. Cam Street High School. Y'all ain't got but one hospital down there, LSU. Yeah. Right? LSU. My mama worked there. Twenty eight years. Really? Yeah, Post City. Post City. Post City. Now, you know, back in the day when we would come up there, because I'm from down there in that little small town called uh, Gas Assembly. Yeah. It's right by Vivian, Louisiana. Yeah. Five miles from the Louisiana yeah. State Line. That's right. You go up, you hit the crossroad. That's where my daddy used to be at. Okay. He ended up, used to be down there gambling and yeah. shooting and racing them cars yeah. back in the day. Yeah. You make a right, you run all the way up into Louisiana. Yeah. yeah. You're up before the casino. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They, yeah. When they first broke... I broke Harris in. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I was at that thing. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. I had big money then. Yeah. I was I was spending money every night in that thing. Harris Casino. Man, yeah. that was the first one. Harris, then the horseshoe, then yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. They come yeah. up like that. Yeah. Now you yeah. don't think I know? Yeah. yeah. I'm down now. No, you know. Yeah, man. Man, so man, listen, man. When I used to be down there, man, in Shreveport, man, I come down there, I go get me some, you know, they sold liquor yeah. more than everywhere else. Yeah. Nobody yeah. else, like in Texas, you couldn't get it. We had yeah. some kind of clause where you got to go so far even to get your liquor. But yeah. over in Louisiana, over there in Shreveport, yeah. all, they were selling uh, liquor all day, every all, day. All day. Yeah. yeah. So back in the day, that's all I did. Yeah. I was running around down there because that's why it was really, it was wet. Uh -huh. That's what they call it, yeah, wet. wet, wet. <laughs> yeah, we had that wet, wet. Yeah, so, yeah. man, back when I, when I was coming up, though, one thing I noticed about Shreveport, and you're going to relate to this, man, a lot of them LA niggas moved in there. Oh yeah. And they and them gang that gang yeah. game became reality, reality. down there. Reality. Had that channel three news yeah. popping. Yeah, cause cause a lot of gang bangers out of LA they get kicked out for eight years, nine years. Oh, and so then they then they they go to Arkansas or Shreveport. That's where they were going. And and Shreveport was more yeah. prevalent than yeah. everything. Yeah. 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 And the news felt it. Yeah, most definitely. Most Y'all were like waiting when Katrina happened, they yeah. moved to Dallas. We got the hell on. Yeah. <laughs> So what, when you when you get in the music business and then you transfer over to this, uh, and and you know that this is your gift, man. Yeah. Was your granddad, or grandmother, or anybody no, dope cookers? Nobody cook. You the first cook? I'm, yeah, I'm I'm the first cook. I'm the first I'm the first one in my family to have an establishment. You know what I'm saying? First, yeah, yeah business. Yeah. Now now my brothers them got they got the bag. They got bags because they went to college and graduated from Louisiana Tech. They got bags. You know what I'm saying? But they don't have a business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um that they started on their own. So, you know, they got degrees and stuff like that. So that's that's the route they and I think that I think that's something that's notable, man, because yeah. everybody going to be a little different. Yeah. You know what I'm well, saying? Definitely. My brothers, and, yeah. uh, they didn't really get into what I'm doing. My yeah. sister, they more work, you know, they didn't, like me owning my business. And that that's the hustle mentality yeah. in you. Yeah. That's somebody that's flipping and taking something. I take two and make five. Yeah. Most I'll take five and make eight. That's right. Or 10 or 15. That's right. right. I think that's the whole game. That's man. right. 
So you say the next one in Tampa. Yeah, we want to open up in Seafood Tampa. Seafood Field. Seafood Field and a cigar bar. Oh, cigar bar we, too. We're gonna, gonna mix it. Yeah, we're gonna mix it. Okay, but they're gonna you gonna have to walk in here though. Yeah, you're gonna walk in and get the food and cigar. You know, because the drinks go with the seafood. You feel? I mean, yeah, yeah, cigar. yeah, 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 with the cigar. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, so uh, I got a buddy. He just made a million dollars his first year. Cigar. Oh, cigar. Yeah, bring your own bottle. Selling cigars. That's all. That's big. That's man. big, man. Man, let me ask you this about the music. Was that your son? Uh, man, you got only name and fame, fooly. Yeah. Man, like. Extraordinary talent, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. what does it mean when I mention his name, man? Man, I get chills in my body because he really a superstar. Yeah. You know? And um, like the music shit, man. He's on another level with it. He grinded. Nobody never gave him nothing. Um, when I say he grinded, he grinded. Like, bro, like he. I remember the first time, uh, first song he ever did. We put flyers out and he first got booked. I remember when he first signed with the row. Yeah, I remember yeah, all of this, man. Everything is like a movie. I can go back. That boy can write a book. His oh, mama didn't want him to rap. She didn't want him in the. She's, she's. Uh, uh, what's the big bishop in Dallas? Uh, T.D. Jakes. Yeah, she worked for T.D. Jakes. Okay. So his mom worked for T.D. Jakes. So you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. She didn't want. She wasn't with no. Serious about she that. Wasn't, yeah, he didn't want no music. You rolled up the mountain. Yeah. So he would come stay with me, and they had big fights. He. You know what I'm saying? He had to keep moving to Atlanta for two years with me because he, he wanted to push his music. He wanted to push the music. So, man, but when he got on, he got on. Man. He did a song called Club Rock, and it went from 500, 1500, yeah. 3000, 5000, just getting, getting booked. Yeah, work, work till you can't feel. Yeah. Work, work, don't stop. Work, 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 try to rock. How you see my new G shot? That's huge, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. so, so, because Young Nation was ripping the scene now yeah. for like when it first popped mm. off I see I seen them young boys I yeah. said man I can't man I can't understand why they going with it yeah. but them boys were talented man yeah. they had a sound that was so unique yeah I'm so zany free my big bro Danny I'm on two and a half barely standing damn G's up like granny and unorthodox yeah they were the Migos before the Migos that's right we just that's didn't right. have the internet yeah they yeah they were the Migos before the Migos like right now you can't go nowhere and not uh, you, Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi, that's their market. They're going to always do shows, yeah. but everybody know Young Nation. Let me just say free punch. Diamonds getting hard and no motherfuckers punch. Uh -huh. Tell the pussy niggas we come. How did, how, when, when, when DeRoe first gave them the deal, oh, man. How, did, how did he approach you with the information oh, to tell man. you? Well, how he, excited was he? Man, I, uh, the, DeRoe was excited, but... um. The thing was, man, they were staying in hotels and yeah, 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 they yeah. got the big chains and I mean they was on a tour, on the road. I was like, man, that was crazy. Wow. That's why I always respect the road. The road, real nigga. He been the same nigga ever, ever since I ever met him, bro. Same he, guy. He, he got the same mentality, cool. Oh, 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 oh. I smoke so much. <laughs> I stay in geek mode. I done fucked around and bought my. He looked out for fooly. I know. Man, them kids was crazy. Both him and B. Reed and Foolin. Ah, B. Reed and Foolin, well, Boy, you know them niggas, they hard to put up with. You know yeah, that shit, yeah, they were younger, too. That nigga was young, young, crazy. Had a little money in there. Yeah, they were crazy. crazy. Yeah. Man, so, you know, that, that that's wild because when you look at them and, and now, now time to excel, I just heard the new track that they did mm -hmm. with DeRoe. Yeah. Slamming. I can't wait to hear it. Slamming. Yeah. Them boys went crazy on oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's an old Texas feel too. I love that. Oh, yeah. That new it's called Star Baby, the project. I can't wait. Man, it's coming out first of July. I can't wait. I yeah, can't wait. yeah, yeah. So you know. no, I like I said, I wanted to come down here, man. We here, man, at Seafood Fields, man. We having a great time. We hanging out, even with this guy, man. This guy right here, man, is what it this a black business owner, man. And that's the whole game. I love to see my brothers come up, put it down, so our other brothers can see that they can do it too. And this is not an easy deal to be an entrepreneur and to do your own thing and stand on your own too and say, I'm going to put everything on my brand and make sure that everything we do going to help our people and our culture to move forward. That's right. So thank you, brother. Right. Appreciate I appreciate you, you man. I appreciate you too, Like bro. I said, this is, this is dope, man. Yeah. Now, we down here in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. What's the address here again? Uh, 4340 North Henry Boulevard, Stop Ridge, Georgia. 
43, 40. Y'all better get by here, man. The yeah. food is spectacular. Yeah. And, and, the, and, the, and the hospitality, you know it's Southern hospitality. Yeah. When you look at it, it's going down, man. Mm. Boss Talk 101 had to come over here. Yeah. We couldn't come down here and not come through here. Yeah. Hey, bro, Seafood I watch, I, field. Bro, I watch your shows every day. I ain't even lie to you like. You know, with me cooking, I sit down and watch TV. I watch everything. You watch so everything. So I know what's going on. Yes, you know sir. What I'm saying? Yes, sir. But I watch, I watch your episodes every day. Man, thank you. Know, you know, some days I get mad because it'd be like, damn, ain't nothing new. I got to watch it. Yeah. Some days it take three, four days for it to come out. But yeah. I got to edit it. Yeah, but, know but, that. You but know we drop something primarily every day. Yeah, yeah. But I was oversaturating it for a minute. Yeah, you were getting, I, you were getting them that too work. Too much because You were they, giving me that work. That's what I'm saying. Because I, I go from the breakfast club to that to, to, to Nori. You know what I'm saying? To drink champs, you know, drink. I know everything that comes on. Yeah, yeah, I, watch yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really watch this and shit. And you like, damn, yeah. man. I, I, you were getting them niggas to bend it for oh, yeah. uh, about four months ago. You were getting them to yeah, bend it. Yeah, I, I had to slow down because yeah. I was over, over, over yeah. saturating everybody. Yeah. I didn't want to put too much. Yeah. So now what we're doing, we're doing like a premiere yeah. every day. Like in a minute, I'm gonna drop a premiere yeah. so people can watch a full episode. Yeah. And then after that, I'll, you know, I'll pretty much. I back up a little bit, let yeah. these boys breathe. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Then do some shorts, you know, yeah. just to show the show. But we come down here to Atlanta to hang out with you, Seafood Field. We come it. out here to, you know, show yeah. love. Me and you, when we talked on the yeah. phone, we discussed this. No we were going to do this. Yeah. Now, what we got here, because I see, look, boy, look, boy, that boy got a cup. A double cup. <laughs> that boy got a double cup. Hey. I'm taking one of these with me. Yeah, most definitely. Double cup. The boy got the double cup. Uh, so how did you come up with this seasoning, man? So so what I did was uh, uh, Atlanta. When you when you live in Atlanta, they food bland. We from Louisiana, okay. So we got we got flavor. They, so any restaurant you go to, go to, they don't have no flavor. It's bland. Really? So I said, damn, I'm gonna start bringing my own shit. So I start going to the restaurant. I, find, I fucked around about four years and made my own shit. And then I turn around and like, man, that shit was going crazy. Everybody right. love it. Like I, love I like I ship this every day somewhere. Every day. Like like this morning, I got I get up. I go, I go to post office, Oregon, New York, L.A. They love it. You know what I'm saying, Arkansas. They love it. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. When, what, and it goes on everything. It don't just go on seafood. How long would it, How long did it take you to come up with that? About like two years. The only reason why it took two years because I was playing with it, you know, trying yeah. to figure it out. And I was on the road cooking for a lot of people, going to yeah. New York, doing the Breakfast Club, and, uh, you know, going to Miami, you know, going going all over cooking for everybody. What? What what what's the most difficult task you've had to face? You know, um, dealing with this food. Sorry about that. The food industry. Like, what's the most difficult task? The hardest task is the budget. The budget. Understand. You're keeping it. it real. Yeah. Because let's nobody it. don't believe in you. Nobody don't believe in you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And once they once they taste the food, some of them want to put a budget behind you. Some of them don't. You know. Yeah. Yeah. At yeah, first, yeah. Yeah. At first, when yeah. I first started. And then, uh, you know, you, the travel and all that, it's wearing and tear. So, so I just said, F fuck it. I went on and did my own thing. Yeah, I yeah. worked it up, and I did everything on my own. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had a business partner. I had to get rid of him. He was a crook. That's the way it be. He was a crook. That's a part of it. I had to get rid of that nigga. That's a part of any time yeah. you're trying to do something, yeah. you link up with some folks, Yeah. God will move them out the way. Uh -huh. Because it's really a thing where it's your passion yeah. and your vision. Mm-hmm. And they just trying to ride the wave. They're yeah. not ready for that, bro. Yeah. So you yeah. you dragging them along. Yeah, most definitely. So you got to cut off the fat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, most definitely. So I, I just really, like I say, I enjoy the fact of being in a black business, yeah. man. We did, when we Back in the days, I don't know if you remember, I, I'm a little old, but back in the days when you look at it, you will go back down that road and you'll start to see before brothers used to have their own stuff. Yeah. People yeah. talk about that Oklahoma uh, mm. street over there. That, yeah, yeah. That Tulsa, Oklahoma Tulsa, thing. Yeah. But this was happening all Black over. Black Wall Street. Black Wall Street was just, uh, that was just one thing that mm. well, we had a travesty. Yeah. But when you start looking at black business on mm. Mr. Luther, Bubba Lane, yeah. all the people, when I was growing up as a kid, black people had their own thing. Yeah. They yeah. had their own stuff. And they just Think about it. when you were young. Yeah. Young. Yeah, you go to get you you go to get a haircut. Mm -hmm. You go to the I even we had convenience stores mm -hmm. where it was Bubba Lang on the yeah. convenience store. Mm -hmm. So this is a part of yeah. what was going on. We were separate. They didn't yeah. want us to be yeah. mixed in at first, mm -hmm. and so they was really telling us we don't want y'all. Yeah. And when we came up with our own creation, yeah. and then they started to try to bring things back together. Yeah. And I think that crippled a lot of our entrepreneurs and economy. It did. 
it far did. as for the black culture. It did. You remember that, right? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. And I respect anybody that do it that, that do it out the mud and, and, and entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. Because I I've been up since five. Every morning at five o'clock, I gotta get the food. I gotta go get the cow, kill the cow, cook the cow, everything. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, basically, I go get the food, cook the food, stock the food. You know what I'm saying? I do yeah, everything, yeah. which is cool though. But I. I put in a, a billion hours, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But I choose what time I want to close, what time I want to leave, what time I want to do. Do I want to have a party here this week or whatever I want to do? Man. But um, I want to say something, bro. What's that? I, pre- I really appreciate you, bro. Come real, on, man. Stop. But look, so you know how many niggas you know that's, that, that's in the industry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I had a... I was in the studio right next to Two Chain. Okay, yeah. So, so uh, it's, uh, it's downtown Atlanta. It's called the Metropolitan Law. So I was over there four years. I had a kitchen. Really? So I know all the rappers, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I just want to say something, man. It, it, it's important to me. So, you know, when niggas get a bag, they don't hit you up no more. No, 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 no. No, they, unless you unless you blow up. Yeah, unless you blow if up. If you blow up, then yeah. they, they come back so, like they never left. So it, it's plenty of niggas in the industry I done fed. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had one pull up yesterday named Al Newt. He, uh, he shoot movies. He okay. pulled up on me yesterday okay. from Detroit. But... Eastside, PZ, all these boys, like, before they even got a deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they know what's going on there. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of people don't reach back. You feel me? Yeah. You don't, you don't even need nobody to reach back. You just need, hey, like, hey, book me in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know these, I know all these boys. Yeah, yeah. Every rapper that, that really blew, you know them. Man, come on, thug. I done cook for everybody. Young boy, all of them. Man, you can go, go down to Instagram. Well, here, here's know. the deal, though, man, you know, and I always think about this because, Shout out to Carlos Miller. He invited us out to the show last night, mm-hmm. and we went out and sat with him since we were down here in Atlanta. Yeah. And I always think about the ten lepers in the Bible that mm-hmm. he talks about. And, and Jesus healed ten lepers. Yeah. And when they came to him, he healed ten. And he said, go do what Moses' law showed that you should do. Mm-hmm. And they went back to do what Moses' law showed that they should do. Mm-hmm. But when they went back, when they left, they was healed. hmm all 10 of them left, yep. and they was healed. Uh-huh. And they seen they was healed, yeah. but only one looked back. Mm-hmm. See, that one is the only one to look back. Yeah. And you yeah. got to get used to that because that's, mm-hmm. that's, that's just telling you that everybody, just because you do something with them, yeah. they're not going to look back. They're not going to look so back. So when Carlos mm-hmm. sent us out there last night and mm-hmm. brought us, you know, yeah. on his guest list and all that, I sent him, hey, man, thank you. Yeah, I mean a lot. I appreciate you. I mean you a didn't lot. have to do that. Yeah. Because I want to be the one that look back. Yeah, yeah. Most niggas don't look back. They don't, bro. And that's why I'm cool with it. Yeah. But I don't want to be like them niggas. No, nah, me either. Yeah. Me either. So when I, don't, I, when I, I don't get help you, from somebody or me and you say yeah. we're going to do something, yeah, we gonna I don't do care it. if, I, if I, don't, I can make billions. Mm-hmm. I don't give a, It ain't yeah. about money. Yeah. It's yeah. about building relationships. Yeah. And it's standing about, on that. Yeah, standing you on know, your yeah, word. Yeah, you got to stand on and, something. And, and, and if I look back here and see you done done something yeah. for me, or I done kicked it with you early on, Say, man, it's a lifetime man. relationship. Unless you screw it up and you do something that we can't go back over that's, the bridge. That's it. But that's if it. you ain't did nothing to me, bro, man, or my family, that's it. Shit, man, I can't team. name how many rappers I cook for. I, I mean, my, my memory is so bad, bro. Like when I'm like, damn, I used to cook for him. You used to cook for him. I did food with him. Studio with him. Studio with him. Like, bro, listen, when Atlanta was really breaking, like I say, 15 years ago, bro. Yeah. Outcast Studio. I mean, I'm in there every night. Every night. Cook it. Andre and all of Andre 3000. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. Oh, stay on you. Stay on you. Everybody know me. Kill them. You can name. Ain't no nigga in the street don't know me. Wow. But but I'm just showing. I'm just telling you, like, niggas don't look back. You they feel don't me? support. They don't support. See, they get bags, and they get bigger bags, and they and they, and they show but their ass. Think, I think that's a blessing, though. Yeah. I'm going to tell you why. Because sometimes you don't want that. I don't want nothing that's not real. Yeah. organic around me. That's true. Those people that you just named, God moved in. Yeah. And I love it when he moved people out the way because mm-hmm. it's going to make room for some better people. Yeah. You don't understand, but the people you meeting, the new people you meeting mm-hmm. are, be, are, are moving into those positions. Yeah. Yeah. A lot Most of definitely. those old ones are moving out. Most definitely. I, and I go to the Bible a lot of the time because mm-hmm. A lot of times when the old, you know, Moses was looking, he could spy out the promised land, but he never got to enter it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Certain people are not going to be able to go in. Yeah. And and they they got to die off first. Yeah. So it don't matter about their celebrity. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you're talking about niggas that really declining now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, they look like they they climbing, yeah. but they peaked, and now mm-hmm. they declining. Yeah. And, and boy, it won't be long before some of them will come For back real. too because yeah, right. they, they, they got the same people you mm-hmm. meet going up. Mm-hmm. 
The elevator got to come down. Same people gonna, you're going to yep. see coming down. That's real talk. Man, yeah, thank you so much, man. So, man, like, like we're going we gonna to sit here. We're going to get us a meal. We're going to eat, rock yeah, out with different. you for a little while, man. Yeah. I'm going to do some more visuals because I want to take some stuff back that I can show, you know, okay. basically in the visuals. No problem. And um, I just say, man, thank you for letting us even be come it. down here. I'm going to pull up on you. Man, anytime. I'm going to pull up for real. Anytime. I'm a man of my word. I'm now. the same way. Yeah, I'm a man of my word. You pull up in Shreveport, yeah. Carver. I'm probably yeah. down now. I got a spot <laughs> down there close to where you're at. So, okay. So yeah. uh, if I go to Shreveport, yeah. I, I usually go home. And if we go home. I'm yeah. definitely going to Streetport. Yeah, most I'm definitely, definitely going to Streetport. Definitely. So at the end of the day, man, that's why everybody gotta go. When yeah. You want to shop and stuff. Yeah, you want to get some. Yeah, yeah. you got to go. I, go. I used to pay my beeper bill off her and Juella. Off her and Juella, yeah. <laughs> yeah nigga, don't we used to be the car wash with her and Juella. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah. so thank you, man, for coming on Boss Talk 101, man. I appreciate it, bro. I love what you're doing for our people, man. Appreciate it, bro. Keep it up, man. Yeah. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep pushing. Most definitely. And we're going to come together and celebrate again that yeah. win in Tampa. Yeah, Tampa. It's on Tampa the way. Tampa next. It's on the way. I promise you it's on Let the way. Let me know when it's going on. I'll be there last weekend. I pray it's on the way. Check it, man. Yeah. Hey, man, listen, man. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you guys check us out, man, on all streaming platforms. Make sure you guys get down here and see my boy Seafood Field. Don't play with it. Yes, Lord. Stay with it. Holla at your boy. It's been another, another great segment of Boss Talk 101, what a boss is talk.